Hi everybody, it's been a minute since I've uploaded a full long form video and uh, trying to get back into the groove of it. So I figured this would be a good time to start off with doing some of the mechanical rigging tutorials that I've been telling people that I was going to do because I rigged BD1 up and um, a lot of people had questions on how I did that. So today in this video specifically, we're going to go over the leg and foot build that I did for this guy, for, so the entire rig. And we'll rig it step by step just to go through and so I can show you each step and how I created it and how I built everything out and then hopefully you can take that knowledge and then apply it to whatever models you're working on or whatever project you're trying to rig. This may not even be the best way to do it this is just the way that I found worked best for me to rig and animate BD1 and get it to a point where it was a usable asset that I could then turn into some of my stream alerts that you guys have seen when I live stream. Which if you didn't know I live stream on YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and on top of that I have just launched a Patreon which uh, is a big step for me because it was something I, I, I have been thinking about for the past year. The Patreon's out there. It's not super full of stuff yet, but it's there. So if you would like to support me in another way, then the Patreon is an awesome way to do it. And it's an awesome way to net yourself some free stuff. You can head on down to the description and there's a link in there that'll take you right there. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Okay, so many of you are familiar with my BD1 model. You, uh, Some of you may also be familiar with the animated portion of this that I did. So if we look at this, this rig was set up with a, an IK system and an FK system. Um, I have full control over the leg and foot joints as well as a small reverse foot system. Now, one of the things that's key to this is the minor controls that we have inside of Maya. So if I open up the attributes on this guy, you can see I have these other controls called foot roll as well as toe curl. So we're gonna go through how I set up all of these different attributes and we're gonna work through it piece by piece so you can learn the rigging process from bone creation to attribute creation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete my rig and we deleted some of the model, but that's okay because I really don't need this. We're only focusing on the leg today. So we'll delete all of this junk because we just don't need it. Okay. So here's what we're focusing on today. We don't have any joints. The scene's basically clean. We'll just save this so we don't lose it. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta create our joints, um, which we're gonna be creating two sets of joints here. So we'll go over to our rigging tab and we're gonna hit our joint creation button. We're gonna go to our side view because we're rigging the legs, so we don't really need to worry about anything else. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of pinpoint this right up here. We're gonna drag a new joint down to the center here. So this one is gonna be kind of important. So we wanna snap this. So we're gonna turn snapping on. I'm gonna get this snapped to the center there. So I just wanna make sure that that's pointed to the center. So you can see that there's another issue here. So because we snapped it, this top one's no longer snapped in place. So we need to get that kind of reconfigured here. Um, what I do want is I don't, or what I don't want is I don't want the uh, joint itself to be all over the place. So I wanna kind of keep this as maintained to center as possible. That's a little difficult because of the way the leg splits and kind of offsets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just Try to get this snapped right about here. So we'll go right here. We're gonna actually just turn on grid snapping. I'm gonna snap right there. And then same thing here, we're gonna just grid snap this here. That should give us a straight and it should also keep that maintained in the center. Okay, so we're good there. So now we need to parent another joint to that. So what we can do is we can actually just click the joint tool. So now that we have that joint created, we need to create our uh, our ankle joint basically. So we're gonna go down here and go into our side view and we're gonna create our ankle joint. We're just creating one joint here. And then we just need to get that kind of snapped in place. Should be pretty good. So the only other thing we wanna do now is make sure it's lined up with this guy. So we're gonna turn on just grid snapping. And it should be right about there yeah that should be right okay so the easier way to see this is to keep both of these joints selected we'll just hit shift i okay so you can see we got this little joint floating down here but it's not parented to this joint so we're going to click this one and hit p that's going to create a parented joint that continues the chain and gives us the full length of the bone okay so with that set up the next thing we need to do is we need to set up the foot joint so we look at this and we know that there's a couple of pieces. This controls most of the ankle movement, but we still need a joint here and then a joint here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our joint here and our joint here. Don't worry too much about that positioning, we'll change that. The other thing we need is the joint on the rear toe. So, or the rear pad, whatever we wanna call this. So we're gonna do the same thing, except this one has a little bit more control. So this one, we're gonna go joint here. Oop. 
Make sure you Q escape to exit off of that tool. And then we're gonna create another one. So we're gonna go right here to this point. We want that joint sitting where the rotation is going to be. So let's go ahead and adjust these. All right, so we're gonna turn off grid snapping, turn on point snapping. And we're gonna go ahead and just adjust these. And this is gonna this is gonna screw this up pretty badly, but we'll we'll fix it. Don't worry. Let that snap to the center. Okay. So if we look at this, our joints are all over the place. So let's fix this. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do grid snapping. And we're gonna snap this main joint to this guy. So that should be good. And then same thing here. snap that guy make sure that these are all lined up on the same so they should be kind of parallel there all right so we've got these set up so now we just need to parent them so we'll click this click this parent that's going to combine it same thing here click there and parent all right so that's our kind of our foot setup now this is where we're going to start setting some things up that are a little bit more complicated so we're going to set up what's called a reverse foot system Ideally, though, we will do this after we bind the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and bind this. So with mechanical rigs, it's a little bit different. You want to kind of skin by each piece. So if we select this joint here, we know that we want this bottom portion skinned to that joint. So we're going to select all of this. So we have this top piece here. We're going to select our joint. And we're going to bind our skin. Okay, so now when we grab this and we rotate this, that should control that, and it does, so we're good there. Next part is we're gonna grab this bottom portion and set that up as well. So, all right, so with all of that selected, we just wanna make sure we have everything. We're gonna go ahead and select that other joint, which kind of hard to see, but we can just go into this view and select it in here. But we have the joint right here. Let's select this guy, and we are going to bind skin. And again, just kind of test that, make sure it's all functioning the way it needs to looking pretty good um, one of the key things here that I'm going to test is just to make sure that if I rotate this that that's doing what it's supposed to and so you can see right here that we have a bit of an issue it's treating this like a traditional skin so we want to actually change this we want to unbind that basically and I'm going to do the same thing to the top joint as well but let's go into here we're going to select this bone so what we're going to do to fix that we're going to go to our skin find skin we're going to change this to bind to selected joints, and then we're going to change the skinning method to classic linear. This is going to just kind of remove all of the weight painting. So with that applied now, you can see that the only thing distorting is this top mesh because we haven't unbinded that yet. So let's go ahead and select this real quick. We got to select which is just this top portion. Select this guy, go to skin, unbind skin. And then now we can go skin, bind skin, make sure all of our settings are correct and hit apply. So now we should have no more deformation on there. And you can see it functions just like a robot should. So it's all just single piece, no bending, no deforming, nothing. That's what we're looking for here. Okay, and so you can see now that we have a little bit of an issue. We didn't bind this properly, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick. We should be able to just select the pieces that I need and select the joint and go to skin, unbind. That should clear that. And then we're gonna select this joint and then select these pieces and go skin, bind skin. So this is kind of how you can fix some of the hierarchy that you're dealing with here. So you can see that's functioning now, uh, which is good. That's what we wanted. And it also depends on like what you're looking for. If you want this to rotate, we can do that as well. So we'll actually just kind of redo that process and we will add this piece in there. And so we'll go skin, find skin. Yes. Um, and that should now give us that nice rotation there, which is really cool. All right, cool. And then we're gonna just kind of do the same process with everything else here. So we wanna center this joint just because it's not currently centered. So we're gonna turn on our snapping once again, and we'll just snap this to the center. This one doesn't matter so much. We just kind of want it sitting there. So we're gonna take this, I'm going to kind of just go back to grid snap, and snap it in place. We wanna make sure that this is still following the same kind of layout as the other joints. Everything else looks fine. We need to fix it back there too. So let's go ahead and bind this skin, bind, test it just to make sure it's working again. We're good. 
Okay, so this one got a little screwed up as well. Okay, so we just need to fix this last one. So let's go ahead and we are going to, and then we're gonna just do grid snap again to that one. And then from here, we can just select that joint and then grid snap it back. And then verify everything's in the right place. We're good, that's fine. So we'll select this again. Don't think, okay, yeah, we'll select that, select this, select this joint. We'll go skin, find skin. Yes. Um, and then same thing, just hit G to repeat that. And we'll take this guy and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select that joint there, this joint here, skin, bind, change it to weight blended and apply. Okay, so that should now hopefully function right. That's stretching the way it needs to. Make sure we didn't jack anything else up. Everything's good except for that guy because we got that error. Okay, so <laughs> uh, unbind, unbind, skin, bind, plastic linear, apply. Okay, that should be good now. So now if we go test this, we got nothing flopping around, nothing's flying around the scene. So looking at this, we can test it. We're all good to go. Okay, so that is the first portion of this rig. So the next thing we're gonna do is the reverse foot control. So we have to do two separate things with the reverse foot control. First thing we need to do is we need to set up an IK rig. The IK rig is what we're gonna be actually parenting the reverse foot control to. So we'll turn on our wireframe here. We're gonna create that IK rig real quick. So we're gonna to go to our rigging. We're gonna select this joint and we're gonna select that joint. We're gonna hit IK. Okay. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so with that done, we now have these little controllers that we can pull. And that's gonna handle most of our leg movement. So you can see now it kind of does the movement for us so we don't have to worry about animating it too, too 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 much. So we don't have to worry about animating it too much. And you can kind of play with that just see how that functions. But it doesn't really add much control to anything else. So this is where we're gonna start adding in that control. So let's create a reverse foot system. So what we're gonna do is in our side view, we're gonna draw some new joints. So generally you wanna make these fairly large. So we're gonna to go to the back of the foot. We're gonna to go to the front of the foot. And we want this to eventually snap to that. But we're gonna create another joint here and another joint up here. Okay, hit enter. This is gonna be our reverse foot system. So let's go ahead and get these centered to their joints. And don't worry, it's gonna be a little wonky, but, we'll, but we got this. Sure that's centered there okay so that's all set up let's go ahead and grid snap the rest of this just to make sure it's all online joints can be really tricky so you want to make sure that you are grid snapping them properly that one's okay unfortunately we have to do this to get this to snap together okay there we go so we're set up now. okay so the next thing we got to do is we need to add couple more IK handles. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this guy and we're actually just going to, here's what we'll do. We'll just select the entire joint chain that we have here so far. We're gonna isolate it. So this is actually, we want that too. Uh, Shift I. Shift I. Okay, so we want our IK handle in there. So we need to create another IK handle system through this foot or this toe. So let's go ahead and add that. So we're gonna click IK, click here, click there, and then one more. Click here and click there. So what this does is this gives us these individual IK chains that we're going to parent our reverse foot system to. So if we go show, isolate, select, selected, we're gonna actually just select all of our joints again and go shift I to isolate. So we can just look at these and we're gonna parent each one of these joints to the IK handles themselves. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bottom foot joint. We're gonna go click that. We're gonna click the IK controller. We're gonna go constrain, parent. We're gonna just move up the chain here. So select this joint. And then the controller, which is right there. Hit G to parent. And then we'll hit this top one. And G. Okay, so that should give us now full control over the foot. So now you can see, if we go into our other view, we have full control of the foot as well as movement. So leave that as is. We're going to save here just to keep our data. So that's a reverse foot rig. So that's it for this video. We've set up the reverse foot control. We have a pretty good setup for our rig. You can see that you can play with this now. You can work with this. I've taken all these files and I've added them to a folder linked down below in the description that you can download and you can rig alongside me so you can learn this process or you can apply this to your other models. This is pretty standard aside from the shape of the leg for most character models and most creature models. If you're ever in need of a reverse foot system, this is how you set this up. In the next video, what we're gonna do is we're going to go over how to set up the custom attributes to allow for control that's kind of already pre-programmed and built in to your rig, as well as setting up the control curves and a couple other pieces. So if you like this video, please make sure you give it a like, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and then I'll see you guys in the next one.